I bring an offering. I know what you seek, but this is not the price, my reason. Then what is the price? You will see. In time, it is done. those girls to tell us to meet here and then be late. Why are we even meeting them here? Something to do with where we're tracking. Oh, so you don't actually know? I have no idea. <laughs> I just hope we don't end up getting lost in damp caves again. I was petrified. <laughs> oh god, this is going to be worse, isn't it? Are you okay? Yeah. I don't know. I have this weird feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh, Ellie. It's probably our dinner from last night. Ha uh ha, -huh, very <laughs> funny. I'm serious. It's something else, but... I can't put my finger on it. About the trip? Maybe. Well, don't overthink. What could go wrong? It's 9am. I haven't seen a soul around here. Well, we are in the middle of nowhere, and all the villagers are probably at sea fishing or something, so... <laughs> oh, here comes Dumb and Dumber. Oi, oi! They're going to be so overexcited, aren't they? Way too much energy for this time of day. Good morning, lady. <laughs> you ready for a little trip? Always. You're late. Yeah, fashionably. Is there a corner shop or like an all-night garage around here? I want to get some extra vodka for the trip. Nowhere open. And weirdly, not a person in sight. Yeah, congratulations, Bryony. You officially chose a ghost town for our meeting. Just told you. Should have gone to that service station. It's any idea why it's so quiet here? Right, let's set off, girls. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Water, please. You didn't fill up at the stream? No, I only drink bottled water. You know most water you buy comes from the natural source in the first place, right? Really? Yeah. That's so dirty. <laughs> you do realise that like loads of guys are probably peeing in that stream, right? That's disgusting. Mm -hmm. This is a joke. You're so childish sometimes. I mean, just figure that out. No. Well, more for you, Ellie, for putting us in charge of the map. OK, geniuses, tell us. Where are we going? Where are we? So, we're here. Okay, so we met here at the pier. And we've walked, what, five miles so far mm -hmm. through this greenery and shit? Pennington's there, right? Mm -hmm. How long will it take us to get there? Mm, it's about seven hours from here. Seven hours? I can't do another seven hours. Okay, well, it's fine. You don't have to because we're going somewhere else first. Where? Yeah. What's there? Oh, God. The last time you two had that look on your face, we ended up on a riverboat in Cambodia heading towards a <laughs> waterfall. We got back to the bank in good time, didn't we? Just spit it out. Where are we going? Hey. Okay. So it's called... So it's called... The Zone. The what? Zone? That's not even the best part. Oh, God. I dread to think. What's the best part? OK, so there's this, like five mile patch of radioactive land that has like a nuclear dumping ground and nearby there are loads of tunnels. So you want to grow a tail exploring a nuclear <laughs> dumping ground? <laughs> well, 
No, he already has one. <laughs> no, I'm not interested in all that nuclear bollocks. I care about the tunnels. Local myths and legends. Oh, oh not the local myths and legends again. Okay. Hear me out. Well, the tunnels, they're haunted. And what about the nuclear waste? I don't care about them. What is that? An EPK meter, like in Ghostbusters? No, it's a radiation detector. Bradley and I here, we're going to go check out the haunted tunnels. Yeah, I mean, you know, Chernobyl in the arse end of the Lake District's unlikely, but just in case... I'm lost. Why the nuclear story? What if it really was abandoned? Well, maybe there's something there that they don't want us to find. Yeah, or someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. OK. Who is up for this tunnel expedition? If it's anything like that haunted pub in Dartmoor, it'll be a damp squib. Right, that place was haunted. Do you not see the old guy? And his wife, she looked like the Bride of Frankenstein. That is so rude. Mm. Right, guys, come on into the zone. Whoop. Let's go. Hmm. Where did you get that? An um, online fashion jewelry. Well, that doesn't sound dodgy at all. Well, do you have a reading? Yeah. What? It's fine, it's 0 0.17 millions. What's that mean? It's just normal, it's nothing to worry about. Right. Let's go in then. Might be the ants. What the hell? This is too weird. Relax. Just, you know, superstitious yokels. What's the garlic for? Yeah, so they like garlic. You know, I said that's French chippers on everything. Yeah, but like this on the floor? Yeah, too fair. You probably would. Do you want to carry on? Well, I don't really want to walk another seven miles to the next town. And I don't want to go back. So yes, I suppose so. Well, looks like we're going then. Come on, ladies. Ellie, are you coming? Fine.
one. Let's get a selfie. I'm just curious to see what's inside. Like, tunnels mean people, but it's, why is it abandoned? I'm just wondering what's been left behind. I guarantee there is at least one discarded pool mug in there. <gasps> Bryony, do you know anything about what's in these tunnels? No. How do we know no one's inside? Hello? No response. I don't even try. This place gives me the creeps. Let's just go. I'm still game. Are you? 100%. I came prepared. Oh. Jesus Christ, Brian. Oh. Okay, all in favour of a tunnel expedition. So new sure now? Well, I do kind of want to see what's inside. Mm, I guess she does. Really? Right, let's go in. Wait. I can't do it, I'm sorry. I'm claustrophobic, especially in small dark spaces. Okay, so you wanna stay outside in a nuclear wasteland by yourself? Just wait here, you guys go ahead without me. Should we just forget? I've come this far. You're not gonna be that long, right? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Should we leave our bags here? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Let's go then.
Jesus Christ, what are you doing prowling around in the middle of the night? Give me time, Dan. You'll get what you need.
Are you absolutely sure about this? We've had no help from the police. It's just... It's madness, Francis. Well, what choice do we have left? I'm not ready to start mourning my daughter. Are you? to look in some dark places of the internet to find you. Anonymity is key to my profession. My nephew understands the uh, black web. The dark web. Yes, that's it. He, he gets days in college, but he knows the back corners of the internet. Lord, your respect, I'm not here about your family tree. So what do you need? I understand you've had dealings with strange circumstances. You could say that. What kind of strange circumstances? Our daughter and her friends have gone missing. Have you called the police? Of course. There's something strange about the local department where they were last seen. One of the friends backed out of the camping trip at the last minute. He told us that they were headed for a restricted area near to an abandoned village called Swinton. Restricted area? Officially an area with dangerous radiation levels. And unofficially? Nada, our nephew. Archibald. Archie, he, he calls himself Nada. He has seen a lot of talk on the internet about a series of abandoned tunnels that are said to contain something ungodly. And we don't want to believe it, but the police, we can't even get them to consider looking, which is odd. Do you want my suggestion? What? Believe it. You can find them. Not me. But I do know someone that specialises in matters of the ungodly. 
I can convince him to do it. What is his price? We just want answers. Even if it's an answer we can't bear. He would not ask for anything in return. What about you? As liaison, my fee is 30,000. Take it. Just find them, please. Do you miss your warm welcomes? I missed you, didn't I? So, you look. Well? Why are you here, Igor? Believe it or not, old boy, I've missed you. It's been a while. I know. I've been on a break. Breaks are good. But you have a job offer. A girl and her friends have got missing. Last known whereabouts for an abandoned village, not far from a cordoned off bit of land. And the rumors are that something lurks within. I don't know if I can. This is your job. This is what you do. I 
Christmas tales in. Soap yourself up, will you? So, will you do the job? Fine. Pester me no more. Good. Because they've already paid us. I need no money. Old friend, if you think that crossbow arrows and silver bullets grow on trees, then you are slightly mistaken. Plus, I quite like to give myself a new suit. Now and again. Oh, and that magic card I gave you. You're the one you used to buy all your boots with. That's also money, housing. Drink some coffee. Sober up. And for God's sake, have a shower. You smell just like the lichen folk we tracked down in Mongolia. I'll pick you up tomorrow. Apologies, I might have warned you. Van Helsing has the manners of a goat. You're sure he's capable? He's more than capable. I'll be a moment. Protection symbols. Protection symbols? Do they work? They're nonsense. This place is deserted. I don't think they offered much protection. So the girls were taken? What do you think that is? It could be vampire or lichen. Mr. Elsie, can you find her daughter? Yes. Go and check out the zone. Alone? For now. It's recon. I need to know exactly what I'll be heading into. How will you know where to look? On my
matter now? It does. Okay, it, it does to me. I, I didn't think I was like that. We have no way of knowing how we'd react in situations like this. I guess. <laughs> okay, Ellie. Ellie. I've managed to free myself. I'm, I'm gonna try, come and try and find you, okay? Just get out. Just, just say that I'm gonna find a way in. Wait. Did you find it? Yes. He did. It worked. So what's the situation? Vampires. I could also sense something else within. Something demonic. At least one of the teens is dead. And there's no sign of the girl? No. There's something odd about the tunnel layout. I need you to use that sorcery to find out some information from me. Do you mean the internet? Yes. That thing. The tunnels were designed in the 1920s by M.H. Marwood. I need you to find out everything you can about him and the tunnel layout. I sense a concentration of evil within. The job. Can it be done? I need to do it. I think the girl is still alive. If some of them are alive still, it suggests ritual sacrifice. From what you've told me, she is a straight-laced girl. That should mean she's safe till last, but we haven't much time. Tomorrow is a blood moon, which is the perfect window to use someone like her as an offering. I go tomorrow. We go, old boy. I wouldn't miss this adventure. Fine. Go find what you can. I promise you'll bring her back. I'll try. Does she think she's alive? I believe so. <gasps> Myself and Igor will go tomorrow once we're suitably prepared. We can help. The last thing I need is you two tagging along and getting in my way. Are you trained in combat? You should meet her mother-in-law. I'm definitely well trained. We... <laughs> we can't bear the weight. Well, bear it you must. Igor has gone to battle with me a few times, and I trust him with my life. And I've done this longer than I care for. Hey. 
I found something. M. H. Marwood was a self-confessed Satanist. Affluent in a long time about the law, but in rumors started to spread that he was building a conduit to the Neverworld, trying to invoke a demon from beyond. Strange occurrences then became more frequent, culminating in this area being abandoned for over a decade. Like that village in Romania, by the formation of caves. Exactly. I found a blueprint of the tunnels. Look. It looks like a Necromonican symbol, representing a gateway. Everything seems to converge towards this room at the center point. So whatever's inside here must be dangerous. Whatever is inside wants out, Igor. Marwood was abducted and killed by angry villagers. He vowed that whatever was left would eventually be set free once it had gained enough power. A soul feeder, perhaps. The vampires seem quite territorial so far. Other creatures inside may not yet be able to exist physically outside of the tunnels. Can we stop it? We have to. We have to stop it at all costs. This could be a world ender. And I have my own price to pay. This will put me in credit. So what's the plan, Halzen? We tool up, then we go hunting. understand why you have so many archaic weapons and items in your possessions. It's like you have a thing for antiquities. What can I say? I'm old school. <laughs> well, I've known you five years, old chap, and I've barely had enough of it. So how long have you been doing this? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> barely believe most of the battles we've waged together, my friend.
You ready? As I'll ever be. You know, this reminds me of the incident at the succubus and the in Bulgaria. I have plenty of trepidation about that one, let me tell you. Constant fear of you over my head. You were. Words of comfort as always, Hell's in. We all were. Yeah, it's a shame Edgar didn't make it out of one. He's not the first person lost in battle. But he won't be the last. Gee, well, thanks for the vote of confidence. You know me, old friend. I say it like it is. We're facing the beyond on this one. They've seen death already, and that puts them at a considerable advantage to you. That you? I've seen enough death for a thousand lifetimes. smuggled in from Persia. They used to take it across the border in Mesopotamia before the relations turned south. Do you mean a rock and a rock? Is that what they call it these days? <laughs> you are an enigma, my friend.
Send me back. Of course. But you have little left to give me. All that's left will be eternity. You can go back just once more beyond this housing. Use your time wisely. When the time is right, I'll collect the last remnants of your soul. You're a wretched creature, Shadow. And you made a deal with me, remember? You can keep your pain and decay in bay by killing creatures for me. I do not want to wait. I have a tunnel full of offerings for you, so shut up and send me back. Magic Eagle. It's a deal with a creature from the dark. What kind of deal? I am kept alive, but I have to hunt these monsters. Kept alive? You're immortal? I can still be killed, but I can only be resurrected so many times. I can only come back once more. There's so much evil still to defeat. <sighs> if my hunting stops, the pain increases. Like a thousand daggers stabbing me in the chest, or a bull running wild inside my skull. <sighs> How long have you been doing this? Almost half a century. Oh, shit. <sighs> and there's no escape in his faith. I asked for it, Igor. I wanted this. I wanted to rid the world of any demon or creature. But it's like plugging holes in a leaky dam. They just keep coming and coming. You've spent the last half a century alone. No family? I lost two wives to demons. The first, before the pact. The second, in the 1800s. I had a son, Abraham. I thought perhaps I could hide from him. I could just take myself away. Away from everything. Away from any trace of demon or creature. For a time, I almost felt normal. The shadow always knew where I was. I feel like he allowed me a distance, just to toy with me for 
his own amusement. He demanded I return to my duties. I refused. For that, he took the soul of my second wife, he threatened the soul of my son. I'm so sorry, my friend. And then what happened? I left my son in the care of a wealthy family. And I got back to work. Did you ever see him again? I checked in on him from time to time. Seems he followed in my footsteps. The last I saw of him, we were around the same age. But I couldn't bear to see him inevitably surpass me in age. Christ. Help me out. Center. You remember the map? Peaceful? Yes. Then no, you're not dying. Here, drink this. Did you bring any more weapons here?
Christ. I'm not invading Hades. Not yet. You'll be safe within the car. Van Helsing. Your parents sent me. Who else is still alive? Just me. Here. Take it. this place? Those creatures? It's a building designed to amplify malignant forces. A gateway, if you will. To what? Hell. This is insane. These tunnels are rife with vampires and cenobites. Cenobites? Cursed demonic creatures. Maybe they were humans once. Who knows? We move soon. Be vigilant. Be quiet. Why are we not running? We need to go now. Not yet. I want to lure the demon outside of his chamber. You'll hold less power there. What? So you're using me as bait? This is what I do, girl. I will get you out. But not until I vanquish this evil first. I smell vampires. Be ready to fight. 
Still here. You've been productive in my absence? <clears throat> yes. And how do you feel? I feel fit. Untroubled. Perhaps I'm in credit for now. I need the rest, old chap. Saving me. Came to hunt, not to save. All the same. I'm sorry about the others. It's not your fault. I should have done more. I should have tried harder to stop them from going in. I've known a lot of people, Ellie, and seen a lot of things. People are willful, most in fact. This isn't new to you, is it? Strange creatures. It's my calling. Inescapable, you might say. What stops this kind of evil? Only me. What will you do now? Rest. Take a break. When will you know to return? I'll oh, know. What will you do? Mourn my friends. Take some time to grieve. Part of me's hoping I'm gonna wake up and it was all a nightmare. Come in. Perhaps there's some thanks coming your way. I need no thanks. There's no way we can ever possibly thank you for bringing our daughter back to us. What happened to the tunnels? Well, I'd like to say it's a normal day's work, but 
This was like nothing we've ever seen before. They're really lucky, are they? Can we possibly thank Mr. Helsing? It's no more to duty than Helsing. He's never stood on the ceremony. Praise would be wasted on him. Outside the caves, old boy. Heard what? I think you came to do more than hunt. You wanted to save that girl. You wanted to put a family back together again. <coughs> and to not see another one torn apart by evil. Nonsense. One day you and me, you're not such a cold hearted bastard, Van Helsing. Maybe that day will come. Not only when my work is done, old friend. In my lifetime, old boy. I'm not sure how many more pursuits I've left in me. <clears throat> I've just the one knife here. And you've used up eight of your nine lives. Four to one more demon. And that's all she wrote. If I die, I die. And you're at peace with that? With everything you've given up? If I've scraped this world clean, then perhaps... I just need to rest. Get whatever peace I'll be allowed. Thank you. 